Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. Today I'd like to look at how the larger degree trend, in this case when we're looking at um, the 3 and 5 minute E minis, uh, this is the YM, ES, NQ and TF, which is the Russell, where we look at projecting support and resistance areas on the 15 minute chart to get larger areas of support and resistance and then they can help us determine the larger degree trend to then see how we should trade the shorter term three and five minutes. It's what we were talking about in our MT Predictor customer training webinar yesterday and I want to show you a couple of good examples that unfolded yesterday that's May the 23rd. <clears throat> so let's start by going to the 15 minute charts and I'll just run through them all and have a look what to what we're looking at. Remember these uh, levels placed on the chart before the markets get there. So here on the Y, <coughs> do excuse me, got a little bit of a cough today. So here on the YM, we can see we had a major low here. So to project the support level off this, we go to advanced chart analysis. Then we use the decision point tool. So this we choose swing high or low then we click on the prior low and you can see it gives you an area but not any old area an area where support is anticipated in advance so this was on the charts before the markets even opened yesterday so all MT predictor customers knew about this level before the market even opened and look what happened during the day the market gapped down hit this level and stopped right on a dime and then actually rallied back up again. So this is why these levels are so important because they're projected in advance and they can give you larger degree support and resistance zones. So let's have a look at the other other markets. The Russell index, I had the DP on from here and we didn't quite reach it so we've reached it on the YM not on the Russell. If I look at the ES and I zoom out a bit and I put it on from exactly the same low which is the last major low which is here if I place it on here you can see that the DP again nailed uh, the low in the ES and stopped the decline here dead I now look at the NQ and exactly the same place it on the prior low and look at that it nailed the low absolutely perfectly remember these were placed on the chart before the market even opened so with that in mind, how would that have helped us in our shorter term analysis? Remember on three of the four markets, uh, the four E-minis that is, we had the markets going into our larger degree 15 minute support zones. So let's now have a look at the three minute charts. Here's a chart of the YM and here we had a TS2 cell early in the day. So the question you have to ask yourself is because we knew that the YM was at larger degree 15 minute support was it a good idea to take a sell setup on a shorter term chart i.e. was this shorter term sell signal in the direction of the larger degree support zone well the answer to that is no that is why we suggested in our trading webinar that this might not be a good one to consider uh, if we skip through some of the other markets you can see here the Russell had a sell setup that a buy set up. Now we know the Russell wasn't a good support so we weren't really doing much on that. The ES <coughs> had no setups, automatic setups during the day and the NQ had a buy set up and a sell set up. So let's just think about this for a moment. Remember we're at larger degree 15 minute support which was projected in advance now what normally happens off support? Well we normally anticipate that we're going to get a rally. So the question is what would you prefer to be doing? Would you prefer to be looking for a short term sell when you think the large degree 15 minute chart is going to provide support and a rally or would you look to, if I go to the NQ, would you be looking to, if I take this analysis off because it hints what I'm going to do, or would you be preferred be looking for a buy setup to then look for a long trade that will then go in the direction of the larger degree 15 minute uh, chart as well. Well you can see that I've already had my analysis on this TS4 buy so you know the answer to my question already and this is what I mentioned in the webinar because we're at 15 minute support we were looking for buy setups rather than sell setups 
Now I just want to have a, a little PS in here is that standard traders will see the STF color and we normally go with the STF color which is red for a downtrend but this is slightly more advanced technique where we can override the STF color by our larger degree support and resistance zones. That's why we would not be looking for sell setups as in the standard guidelines we'll be looking for buy setups because the 15 minute chart is giving us support. So let's put the analysis on this TS4 buy and if we zoom in a bit we can see that the, the uh, NQ did indeed rally up. It went to our um, first target where there was a potential plus 2.8 hour profit. Uh, if we go down to the STF strength band you can just about see it here it was actually strong in other words just beyond the strength band so therefore we can swap to the ATR stop and actually run our trade slightly further if I put the analysis on up into this level here uh, which also combined in with the idea that the 15 minute chart was also expecting a rally as well so the two ideas here came together for a good high probability trade and here's the result a lovely plus 4.3 hour profit so I hope this has been a good video and actually shows you how the tools in MT Predictor, if I perhaps go to the NQ chart and just look at that, here we have the tools in MT Predictor that allowed us to project in advance a larger degree support zone, which we had on the chart before the market even opened yesterday. So once the, in this example, the NQ had gone down into this market, we could then say, right, we weren't looking for short trades, we're then looking for long trades off this larger degree support zone. So that is why we didn't like the um, sell setups, even though they're in the direction of the STF. What I was suggesting is I was actually looking for buy setups, and here was one that unfolded on the NQ a bit later in the day that then was managed with the ATR stop that came up for a lovely plus 4.3 hour profit. So overall, yesterday was a very good day uh, particularly on this NQ trade, but particularly for the way we use the larger degree support zones, i.e. on the 15 minute charts, to project in advance where the larger degree trend was going to go. And we use that to override the STF color. So I hope that's been a good uh, training exercise to show how the tools in MT Predictor can not only help you avoid losing trade or what would have otherwise been losing trades, but also can help you anticipate the larger degree trend direction to then be able to orient your short term trading in that direction. So a good example of the tools that are available in the software, particularly as they are leading and they're on the charts before the market even gets there. So you're prepared in advance. And that's very important for, important for traders to know these levels in advance.